Hello, right, I found this bookcase online. Um, I'm gonna try making it in Blender. Uh, we're gonna UV map it with shading and then upload it to Roblox and to Second Life. Cause obviously with it being a, a mesh, then you can up, up pretty much upload it anywhere that accepts mesh. So let's go. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna use Photoshop to edit the image once we've got it as well, uh, just to make it look a little bit neater. Uh, so we want a new one of these. And let's go. Right, so we're gonna, I'll turn on my screencast just so you can see my keys that I'm pressing. Right. Uh, we're gonna scale this on the middle of our Z axis. Uh, about there. We're gonna scale it on the X. And we're gonna scale it on the Y. Yeah, it's a bit bookcase kind of looking. <laughs> right. Um, I'm going to create an object cube. <coughs> oh, sorry. Right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting it out of the object rather than drawing in all the shells and stuff. It just makes more sense, really. Uh, scale that on the Y. Right, now we're going to duplicate that. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to be a bad cough today. Uh, scale that. Oh, shit. Scale it again without that oh shit bit. On the Y. And duplicate it. Yeah, that seems okay. Right, we're just going to duplicate all of them three. Drag them down and rotate them on the X, uh, 180 degrees. That seems fine. Duplicate all of them ones. them down this is going to be like a see-through it's going to have no back kind of bouquet so you've got to make sure the blocks are obviously sticking out with the back as well because once you cut them out uh, that's where it'll happen um, yep that seems fine we're going to scale that on the z-axis again just a little bit because we're going to bottom yeah it looks about even that should do the trick right now what we're going to do is we're going to link all of these oh sugar right link all of these join them and then we're just going to select our bookcase itself and we're going to add a modifier a boolean and we want the difference so what we're doing is we're pretty much taking a difference from the blocks that i've just created out of our bookcase so we'll select our cubes all of these ones we've just made here and we'll apply that select our cubes and delete them and there we have one bookcase Now what we want to do is I'm going to make a marble style bookcase. Uh, so I've got a marble texture in my computer somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into edit mode. And we are going to 
add, uh, sorry, we're going to unfold this first. There's a smart UV project with a bit island margin. Maybe it's 15 will do. Drag a new one of these open. Go to UV maps. Right. Um, we're going to go to new image. And we're going to have this as 2048. We're going to have this as 2048. Okay. Zoom out. And now what we need to do is we need to just create a material. So we'll... Uh, look at that. So we're going here. New material. And assign the new material. And then we're going to go to textures and new texture. We we'll want it to be generated, cubed, um, open, and texture is new marble slab there. Open that up. Yep. Right, now we're going to bake this and we're going to first create a shadow map. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go down to bake, we we'll want ambient occlusion, normalised and 18 pixels, and we'll bake that first. Could take a little while. Definitely will take a little while. Hmm. Ah, there we have it. Right, so that's baked now. You can see that obviously the shadows, etc., are there. Um. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this image as just a bookcase. We'll call it book shadow. Dot PNG. Now we want to change bake mode from ambient occlusion to texture and then rebake it just with the texture itself that we uploaded. And that's done. Same again is you want to go to image, save image as, and instead of book shadow, this time we'll call it book txt. And we'll open up. Ah, sugar. Right. We'll close that one down. We'll open this one up. Uh, book TXT. Yep, that looks perfect. Right, what we need is. We need. We'll have a filter just to sharpen it up a bit. Smart sharpen. There we go, that should do it. That's the image sharpened up a bit. Right, um, now we are going to place our shadow map on top of this. So book shadow, place that. And what we want to do is instead of normal under your layers, you want to multiply. So we'll multiply that, and there we have it. We'll enter, enter to place it. So that's placed. So now we will be able to save this as the actual texture JPEG. So it'll be book texture. Oh shit. Texture, put JPEG, save that. Okay. Right, and now we'll go back into Blender and apply that new texture onto our bookcase and see how it looks. So if we go to object mode, 
don't select anything. Go to texture. That's the normal um, texture for the without the shadows or anything or the bake. Uh, what we'll do now is if we go image, replace image, and <coughs> sorry, book texture, replace that, and there we go. That's that done. So we need to save this as two different um, file formats. Um, Second Life uses a file format called DAE, so it's a .day file, and Roblox uses, um, I'm sure it's .obj, so we'll save them both as that. So export, Colada DAE. And we'll just put it in there anyway um, and we'll just call this bookcase one export that and then we'll export it again as an obj wave front file uh, stop right case one in textures, oh shit! I did not see it OBJ by the way. Ah, now I see. And we'll export that, and now we'll upload it to Second Life first. So I've just got my own open sim here in Second Life. Um, go to build. Upload mesh. Ah, shit, wrong one. Mesh model. Bookcase.daa. There it is. And there we have it. Oh shit. I'm trying to move in Blender. Which is not right. And then we're going to texture it. And we need to upload that texture. So if we go to upload image. And it would be book texture. Open that. Upload it. And there we go. A lovely looking bookcase. That's how simple it pretty much is. Right, now we'll do the same for Roblox. Um, we will add a mesh. Mesh. That does not make sense. Mesh part. Um, mesh ID is this one nope sometimes these come in with the texture sometimes they don't it just depends if you saved it from blender this one did actually come in with the texture itself oh sugar and there we go Lovely bookcase. Let's go have a look at it. Do, do, do. See it in game. Obviously, I can make a bigger, smaller, do whatever I want of it. But you can see it's uh, very nice with the shade next to that. Um, I will show you if you didn't actually export it with the textures and you need to add a texture to it, you can just go onto your.
all blocks developer decals I've already uploaded the one of the meshes for the bookcase so and that was the book texture there so if you click that after you've uploaded it and this ID here you can then obviously just go into stop that where it's got texture ID here and just do the texture that way I've removed the texture but you know but that's pretty much how you do it if you didn't already import the textures with your mesh with the model itself and um, but yeah that's exactly how you do it so I mean any questions or you just want us to make anything else or show you something then just comment and I'll try my best to upload a video on what you need doing thank you very much for watching